Hey guys, it's Sapir and welcome to PHP tutorial number 42. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at um, errors and we're going to look at the start of errors, not all of errors. Might cover it a bit more later, possibly next tutorial, I'm not entirely sure yet, but um, for now let's just look at this stuff. So, last tutorial if you remember, when we um, gave the MySQL underscore connect function something which, like a, an incorrect username or something, it threw a warning, okay, which is basically a type of error. Um, and you can get errors from not, not just MySQL stuff, like dividing one by zero, okay, that throws an error, because one can't, well, it, technically it can be divided by zero, but technically it can't as well. Uh, but, you know, it can't actually give any um, value, because it's infinity, so uh, in PHP and most programming languages, it throws an error. Um, now, remember how I talked about when things throw an error, they give quite a bit of detailed information about um, the error and where it is in your script and where the script is, you know, uh, the path to it and everything, which someone who's trying to crack your website will find very useful um, to getting closer into uh, your databases and stuff. So, how do we stop PHP from echoing out all these um, detailed error messages and make it so it only echoes out something like um, when we put or die? Okay. Well, we can use the any underscore set function not only to um, do what we're about to do, but um, there's something called the php.any file, which has lots of um, things which um, set up your version of PHP. And the any underscore set function can modify several of those things, but uh, uh, it only modifies them for the length of the script, which is what's useful about it. It doesn't because if you go into php.ini and modify it there, it modifies that changes it for every single script, whereas the ini underscore set modifies it only for that script. Okay. Um, so now we have um, the particular thing in we want to modify in the php.ini file is the display underscore errors variable. Um, and so to change the display underscore errors variable, all we do is use the any underscore set function, supply the first argument as display underscore errors as a string, and then the second argument we supply one if we want it to, to display errors, and zero if we don't. Okay. So let's look at it in action with one on, which means it will display errors. As you can see, we get the mysql underscore connect function, and if I uh, uh, the MySQL underscore connect warning about that function, and then we get another warning for division by zero. So if I then set this to zero, you can see the only thing we'll get will be that or die part where it says couldn't connect. Okay, so that's use the useful thing about any underscore set. The only problem with any underscore set is it does it for the whole of um, this script. Um, which we might not want, um, and we don't want to constantly, as we go along through each thing, be setting it back and forth from display errors to don't display errors to do to don't to do and so on. So how can we do it quickly where we say, okay, I want this to be to not display errors, but maybe I want this to display errors, but then I don't want these two to, but then I do want these three to. Well, we can use the at um, operator, which essentially what it does is it suppresses errors, okay, uh, and it can be used with not only MySQL functions, it can be used with pretty much anything in PHP which might throw an error. So you can see here I'm using it for the 1 divided by 0 thing. I'm enclosing it in brackets as well because I'm pretty sure if I have it out of brackets, it will think um, at 1 
because it will check if one, the actual literal value one, throws an error as opposed to the whole statement of one divided by zero. Okay, so that's why I put it between brackets. And then the app function executes this, and if it uh, throws an error, it doesn't show the error. And the good thing about this one is we can not show one error, but then we can show another error. So here I'm not showing the one divided by zero thing, but I'm showing the other one. So that's why it only pops up. If I then put an at by that, we don't get anything. Okay. Oh, except the couldn't connect, of course, because that's or die there. And then if I take the at away from there, it will only show the division by zero error, but it would also show the couldn't connect. And if I take both away, finally, it will just show as normal. I think it only shows. I oh know it does show both. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's the at or the suppression operator. Um, now the final thing we're going to look at today is the error underscore reporting function. Now what this does, it's quite clever, it allows us to set the level of error reporting. There are several levels in PHP um, of um, errors. So the first one we have for instance is the notice error which is something quite minor, it doesn't really matter. Something like echoing out a variable which hasn't actually been declared. I know uh, here it's been declared, but um, first of all these two threw errors, and secondly I've just commented them out, so technically they don't exist to PHP. So echoing out a variable which doesn't exist doesn't cause a pass error, it's um, just a minor thing, and all, all you need to do to avoid it, all PHP needs to do to avoid it is forget about echoing out anything, okay? So it's that's why it's only a, a notice, okay? The second type is um, a warning, okay? Which is a runtime error, which is a non-fatal error, which means um, the program can still continue going, okay? Um, something like this MySQL underscore connect warning. Um, it couldn't connect because it got an incorrect username. But that doesn't mean you have to shut down the whole script. It just means you don't have to connect to MySQL. A division by zero doesn't mean you have to shut down the whole script. It just means um, you don't create the variable var and you don't execute that statement anymore. Okay. So those are what warnings are. Errors are... Um, another type of error, surprisingly enough, uh, <laughs> which are fatal runtime errors, which will stop the execution of a script. Okay, um, I can't think of any examples, so I haven't actually um, typed anything out which will give an error. But um, the final one then we have is a pass error, probably the worst type of error you can get because it doesn't even load the page at all. If you get a pass error, it's something like, for instance, if you put echo and then you put some value, and then you try and concatenate on um, another value, so my name, or something, 